Looks like one more uneventful day behind the wheel, right? A great opportunity to kick back and relax, listen to your favorite music, or daydream about your next vacation. Uh-huh, right. Welcome to the real world, where letting your guard down behind the wheel of a 40-ton vehicle can cause a nice uneventful day to turn deadly in a hurry. Anyone who drives for a living knows that sometimes it's the most routine situations that go bad the quickest. Good thing this driver was on his toes. Maybe you've noticed, while they're probably good people, there are an awful lot of drivers out there who just aren't very good. Some don't pay attention like they should. Some act out their aggressions behind the wheel. And some of them, well, you have to wonder how they passed their driver's test in the first place. The hard truth is, you have to share the road with these folks. And since you know most of them aren't looking out for you, you'd better keep an eye out for them. Otherwise, you put your safety in their hands. Personally, I'll pass on that, thanks. You know as well as anyone, it's easy to get complacent behind the wheel. Maybe you have a stellar driving record, or you're just lucky enough to have avoided trouble so far. But I'm here to remind you that can change in an instant. The more lax you are, the less prepared you'll be when hazards crop up. And they will crop up. You know they will. Defensive drivers are alert and in control of their vehicles, their safety cushions, and themselves at all times. No letting your guard down until you're safely off the road. We're going to review the basic tenets of defensive driving. Seeing and being seen. Having heightened awareness. Managing your speed and space. And maybe most important of all, having the right attitude. Then we'll ask how you'd handle some potentially hazardous situations. Maybe you're already a top-notch defensive driver, or maybe not. This is your chance to test what you know and to start to change bad habits before it's too late. Defensive driving starts before you ever hit the road. Unless you want your equipment to fail while you're driving, you need to conduct a thorough pre-trip inspection before every run to make sure you and your vehicle both start out in good operating condition. You should also make a sound trip plan that includes exactly where you're going, the route you'll take, where you're stopping, and when you'll arrive. This can eliminate a lot of uncertainty so you can focus on driving. The most basic rule of defensive driving is seeing and being seen. Now, this isn't driving 101, and yes, I'm sure you know that the more you can see what's going on around you, the better you can avoid any problem situations. But I'll remind you anyway, just in case, because it could save you a lot of grief down the road. Keep your windows and mirrors clean, and adjust your mirrors for the best visibility. As simple as it sounds, not checking mirrors properly is one of the top five reasons drivers get into trouble. Even the most experienced drivers forget or get a little complacent sometimes. If you don't use the mirrors to your best advantage, how will you be sure you can change lanes to avoid that hazard ahead? Or how can you anticipate what the aggressive driver coming up behind you will do? You can't, period. Plain and simple, you need good mirror use habits to drive defensively. As far as being seen goes, make sure all your lights, turn signals, four-way flashers, and reflectors are clean and in good working order. Even if your vehicle is in plain sight, assume other vehicles, motorists, or cyclists may not see you, because as hard as it might be to imagine, they may not. Maybe your company is one of many that requires its drivers to always run with the lights on, but at the very least, Keep your lights on from dusk till dawn and in bad weather. And use your turn signals and four-way flashers in plenty of time for other motorists to react appropriately. Also, don't forget to check the horn before you hit the road. Unfortunately, you may need it. Of course, it isn't enough just to be able to see well out of your windows and mirrors and to ensure that you're seen. You also have to actively look for trouble constantly scan, and I do mean constantly, immediately in front of your vehicle, 12 to 15 seconds ahead, and to both sides. Look for anything that's a potential hazard. You know the list. Distracted or aggressive drivers, pedestrians, road debris, animals, construction zones, accident scenes, anything that might turn into a problem. 
Some drivers think the scan constantly rule doesn't apply to them. Maybe they let their guard down by fiddling with the radio, looking at a map, or picking up a phone. Sad to say, these are the drivers most likely to be involved in some 400,000 commercial motor vehicle crashes that happen every year. You also need to be aware of what's going on behind your vehicle. Is some driver hell-bent on passing you? You need to know before that driver creates a dangerous situation. 